Welcome to my channel, The Fan Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet and much more. Remember my video on how to mold with pad? Yeah. So today I'm going to be transforming that particular molded fascinator into the picture on the right. Stay tuned. Cut out your square pattern according to the size of the cone you want. Wet it a bit with water. Fold it into two and drag like I'm doing. Then, oh, missed the part there. So we'll go back a bit. So you fold it into two again. After you have done that, then you roll it up. Roll the two sides up to the middle that you have folded, like I've just done. Okay, that looks perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is where the two parts folded in, we're going to be putting gum there so that we have our cone steadily formed. It won't open up again like it has just done. So I'm rolling it up to meet the gum and I would use my hand and press it in like I'm doing so it sticks and that's it then I just cut out some sharp edges around now the first thing you do is cut out your strip diagonally on the material not horizontal not vertical diagonal then you fold it like i'm doing you fold the left and the right side that's the length you fold in the length and you would also fold the breadth of one side the side you're not going to be sewing to your fascinator After we've done that, we're going to fold it a second time. On all sides, aside the parts that we're going to sew to the fascinator. Now this length, I looked at it, is a bit too long for the fascinator, so I'm going to be cutting it into two. Then what I do is I'll take my glue and gum the first folding, so that when I do the second folding, it glues and stays like that. So I'm going to be doing it on all the folded sides. The gum I'm actually using is B6000. Mm, although before the video ended, I had to start using my B7000, but they are all the same. You could also use Uhu gum. So if you noticed, I did one and dropped and started doing the second one. That's to give the first one some time to dry a bit. Now I can fold it. As I fold, I drag. And if you notice, it's giving it like a curve when you drag it on that part that you're folding. So I do the same on both sides. And chip off the edge. Now it's time to attach all that we have made to attach our double cone, um, our strips feathers and flowers now you don't have to attach so much depending on your taste or what your client wants you do little or much just according to your taste i prefer to sew than to gum and my reason is if you gum after some years it tends to get weak and fall off but once you sew it's permanent to a certain extent so most of my work as much as possible I sew them if it is possible so I'm going to be sewing the strips where I'm placing them right now 
hope you're enjoying the video so far if you are please do give me a like and if you're new to our channel or you're not new and you haven't subscribed i would like you to subscribe so that you don't miss out press also the bell button for notification so you be notified anytime i put up my new videos on diys or designs looking forward to having you to my next video within the week thank you keep watching Please, if you have any question on this DIY that you're watching, please feel free to drop it down on the comment section and I would respond as soon as possible. Thank you. For the feathers, I glued them with my B7000 because I couldn't sew them. But there are sometimes you can sew them, but this ones I glued them. Voila, that's it. We have successfully designed our molded pad. Lovely. Thanks for watching.